Another day, another episode. My name is Matt Dagley. This is The Daily. Are you ready? Let's go. So a friend of mine, who I met in Vancouver, Richard, him and his fiance are getting married on Tuesday, but they're getting married in Japan, so it's actually Monday in Nova Scotia. So it's 11 p.m. here Monday and 11 a.m. Tuesday in Japan. And they're live streaming the wedding on Facebook. Richard invited me to uh, check it out. Congratulations uh, on your wedding, uh, Richard and Churi. All the best. So today I'm gonna to try something new. So I got some things in the mail that I ordered. I know what they are, but you don't. So I thought I would set them up here and uh, open them up. Talk about them a little bit. So the first one is from Vista Print. It's two boxes. Does it say on it anywhere? No. And Matt, what could it be? You guys might remember a guy named Jim. Hi, my name is Jim. And you might remember a little show called Halifax at night. And this is Halifax at night, the show that asks people of Halifax their opinion, even if they don't have one. Well, we got some business cards made. And why did we make business cards? Because Halifax at night is coming back. We're um, gonna be shooting again in June and uh, downtown Halifax like always and uh, we haven't done it for I think at least a full year so there's been lots of changes downtown and uh, as always there'll be people uh, drinking and wanting to grab the microphone at a, out of uh, Jim's hand and uh, chat with us. If they open the Halifax Harbor again for swimming yes would you guys go swimming in the harbor? Probably not because the first time I went swimming it was very very di like really gross Got some, you know, it was really dirty. But I think if it cleaned up and stuff like that, I'd probably swim. If there were like no tampons in it. Okay, Claire, too much information. Those people who are drinking and grabbing the microphone, they can take that home and then find the episode and watch our show right after. So, yeah. Box for Jim. Box for me. Halifax at night. New episodes this summer. <laughs> Video. <laughs> Dinner with dining with Duke. Sorry. <laughs> Dinner with Duke. Uh, since you can add, you can edit that out anyway. Anything you want to say to my viewers about the next episode of uh, Dinner with Deuce with the uh, the desserts? The best one I ever had is is coming up. The chocolate donuts with the sprinkles. It's really good, especially for Katie. See oh. ya. All right. So that's coming up on Monday. See ya. See ya. Now it's time for the viewer question. Uh, what is your favorite streaming service? So uh, right now I have three of them. I have Netflix, which is probably the one we watch the most. And uh, I also have Amazon Prime. Um, basically because uh, with my Amazon account, Amazon Prime account, it includes the uh, video and music service. So um, since I order a lot of stuff on Amazon, I have Prime, that's where basically I get most of my camera gear. And uh, so that's really why I have Amazon uh, Prime Video. And what's the third one I got? Oh, uh, Crave TV, or um, well it was Crave TV, but now it's just Crave. Uh, because it has all kinds of movies now too. And uh, that's a Canadian app. 
I think Bell Media runs that one. And uh, But it's got all the HBO stuff. And uh, so, yeah, those are the three that I use. It's kind of funny because um, they each have their own uh, original programming. So, like, Netflix has its own shows. Crave has, like, Letter... Kenny and some of their own shows, Canadian shows, which is kind of cool to have Canadian content finally on a streaming service. Um, also, Amazon Prime even has their own uh, original series. I watched uh, Hannah, the uh, TV series. Of course, not as good as the movie, but uh, still entertaining. And uh, But yeah, the question, what's your favorite? I wouldn't say I really have a favorite necessarily. We use Netflix the most, and then probably probably crave after that and then Amazon Prime so there's the top three all right part two of unboxing junk that I bought Amazon click to purchase makes it easy check out the sound I guess Bags of air! What do we got? Mini vacuum cleaner, USB powered. Um, basically, I'm having a lot of problems with dust around my cameras and uh, my keyboard and my computer and all that stuff. And I'm tired of using those wipes. I just seem to wipe the dirt everywhere. So I got one of these. It charges USB. Hopefully, this will uh, keep the dirt and dust down. Um, we'll give it a shot right after this. I almost forgot, since we're here, why wouldn't I open it on camera? Do an unboxing of the mini vacuum cleaner from Miko or Meko or whatever it is. Oh, where's my knife? Go cut the plastic. Got this uh, sealed up pretty good. The bits going everywhere. So here's the actual unit. It's actually a decent size, not too big. It's kind of like a gun. Are you satisfied or unsatisfied? User manual. Oh, bounce back. Charging cable, USB to, yeah. Whatever that is, DC I guess. USB to DC probably. If I would have read that manual I'd know. And, doo -doo 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 -doo. There it is. So more than likely that'll have to charge before I use it. And I'm just kind of joking about the manual. I'll have to, uh, probably have to read that just because I don't want to screw it up. This is off the little parts here. It's like air filters and then there's the brush. You can get that to, yeah, there we go. So that goes over your keyboard. I snap some. Yeah, just like that. All right, so I'll read over the manual, charge this thing. The vacuum is charging. So the vacuum appears to be charged. There's a power button on the top. I'm gonna to try and vacuum and film at the same time, cleaning the keyboard. dust right there. Not bad. So the uh, mini USB vacuum uh, worked quite well. Um, obviously, you're not going to clean your whole house with it, um, but if you're just vacuuming off your keyboard, maybe your laptop, you know, 
Works pretty good. Supposedly it can do uh, liquids too if you spill water on your keyboard. Uh, you might be able to clean that up. Uh, I didn't want to get into the liquid just because uh, the cleanup of the vacuum is probably annoying to get all that out. But uh, yeah, um, link to the uh, mini vacuum is in the description if you're interested in uh, getting one. Well, that brings us to the end of another Daily Dagly. Thanks for uh, all the feedback that I've been getting from you guys in person and online. Don't forget about the website, daily.daglymedia.com. And earlier I talked about uh, Halifax at Night. Uh, I forgot to talk about the website, halifaxatnight.com. Uh, go on there, check it out. Everything we shot up to this point is uh, on there. Let's see how many videos we got. Well, I'll show you the website anyway. That's the latest episode. Logo, website. There's uh, season one, season two. Uh, what else? Behind the scenes. The short film that started it all. It's all on there, so make sure you check that out. And that's Halifax at night dot com. Yeah, so that's it. All done. Keyboard's nice and vacuumed. All good to go. And uh, that's it. See ya. Of course I filmed a segment about uh, Mike and Ike candies. Wife and I were just at uh, Walmart and picked these up. It's the Mega Mix with 10 different flavors. I already filmed the whole thing, but uh, for whatever reason I didn't record on the camera. That's what happens when you can't see the screen when you're filming yourself. Uh, I poured them on this piece of paper. Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, Kiwi Banana, Mango Delight, Pineapple Banana, Watermelon, berry, or, sorry, Peach Berry, and Blueberry. Of course now I got my mouth full, but they are uh, pretty good. Reminds me a lot of uh, Tropical um, Skittles. Very similar, but uh, tastes more uh, fruit-like, tastes a little more realistic than Skittles do, but yeah, they're not bad.